It's time to vlog. Email is vlogging. Man, I've been saying that. So the last time I did a Q&A was July of 2014, which is approximately 1.5 years ago. So when I said that I haven't done a Q&A in years and I want to do one, I meant I haven't done a Q&A in years and I want to do one. So I asked you guys for questions and you guys gave me a lot of questions. So let's get started. Describe your Yale experience. It's kind of weird because it's just like, Everyone thinks of Yale and they're like, oh my gosh, it's like such a good school, and it is, but it's it's also college and it's not like immune of its problems. There's all the stuff going on with the SAE, the Christakis email, and the whole March for Resilience and everything, which was really cool. And it, it was just, it was quite an introduction to Yale, but like, m m a lot of the tension has died down and it's just like, I've gotta work, I've gotta do my singing, and I've gotta big friends and that's how it is with college in, in general. It's it's a college like anything else and I really love it here and next question. If you were a character in The Force Awakens, who would you be? I would be Luke. Just like I feel for very lonely Luke, uh, the Twitter account. Um, and also he looks like Space Jesus. If your friend had the opportunity to spend the week with Beyonce, would you kill them to take their place? Okay, I like Beyonce, but I'm not crazy in love with her. Like, she's amazing, and it would be cool to meet her, but if my friend got to meet her, I would not go as far as to kill them to take their place, you know? Like, it would be better, but like, I would also be genuinely happy, but mostly better. Have you read, and do you accept the terms of agreement? Never. I never read the terms. I always check it because I know what I want and I get what I want. When will it stop being too soon for me to make jokes about the Lincoln assassination? It's always too soon. As long as T-Mac lives, it will always be too soon. Your thoughts on this article? Basically the gist of this article is that there is a scholarship that is only for white people to even the playing field, I think it said. Um, and like it's getting a lot of controversy and backlash, but like I don't I don't I don't know. On the one hand, it is for underprivileged white students, so like low income kids and like I guess like that's okay to like target kids who need help even if they are white, like that's not a problem. Um, but it just kind of seems like some of his goals are to um, bring back and strengthen the patriarchy only because like he's threatened by women graduating more than men and that that's problematic. It's time to re-examine the facts because they don't support the current media narrative that women and ethnic minorities are some kind of oppressed victim class. If there's a patriarchy, it's not doing a very good job of protecting male interests, is it? Like, do what you want, but... Your ignorance is problematic. That's all I'm gonna say about it. Can I have your autograph? Once I figure out how to like make my signature nicer than these, then yes. Would you rather be seen as A, morally sound but weak and cowardly, or B, strong and brave but morally questionable? Probably morally sound, uh, although weak and cowardly. Because I feel like right now, for the most part, my morals are together. But like, if a bug comes in here, like trying to like come for me, then I, I'm, I'm doomed. Which can you not police? The Patriarch. So Jack Barbie thought it would be a good idea to ask a series of riddles, even though he knows I hate riddles. So what we're going to do is instead of me answering all of these riddles, we're going to choose one of his five riddles and going to, I'm going to answer one of them. And the way we're going to do this is I have some heads or tails double stuff Oreos and we're going to get an Oreo and we're going to flip it. This one is broken. We'll get one that's not broken. Okay, so one, two, one, one, three, one, four, four, five, one, four, five. So we'll answer the fifth question. Aliens abduct ten human beings. They line them up from tallest to shortest. In darkness, they place red or blue hats on each human's head. The distribution of these hats is random. There may be ten reds and no blue. 5 reds and 5 blues, 2 reds and 8 blues, and so on. With the lights back on, the aliens ask each human in turn, from tallest to shortest, what color hat they are wearing. If the humans can get at least 90% right, they will recognize them as an intelligent species, and not destroy the land. 
Given five minutes to discuss their approach before the hats are placed on them, the humans come up with a solution which is guaranteed to save them. What is the solution? I don't know. <laughs> I just really hope I'm not getting abducted in this situation. <laughs> like, I literally Google it and I don't understand the answer, so... I don't know. <laughs> we're, we're doomed. Okay. If you could go back to your high school stuff and tell yourself one thing to change, what would it be? You don't always need to have a plan. Sometimes you just like need to go with the flow and see where things take you. Cause like I came in the SLU with a plan to major in computer science and go to Wash U. Like theater, dance, all the arts and stuff besides singing I hadn't like gotten involved in, but I just kinda went with it. And I hate CS with a passion now. Although I understand it's important, but like it's not me. And like you just need to like go with the flow, explore yourself, and become comfortable and do what you like. Like I just, all I do is sing now. I sing and I work in a library, and I work in a psychology lab, and I, I'm happy. And that's, that's what's important. Is a and comic or ironic? a and for those of you who don't know, is a story that slew kids had to read in sophomore English, and it could be seen as comic or ironic, depending on how you look at it. And I originally thought it was comic, I think, and then I think I changed it to ironic, and then I changed the Wikipedia page, and then locked it. It locked. So whatever I locked it on is whatever I finished thinking about it on. I think I changed it to comic. It's a short story? What? Someone unlocked it. <laughs> so who knows? What are the implications of solutions to the Dirac equation? I think that's related to either math or physics. Neither of which I'm taking anymore because I'm free. Yay, don't need a major A. I'm so happy I belong. Take back your ring. Take back your pearls. What made you think that I was one of those girls? I'm screaming. What was it like speaking to the alumni board? I was kind of ambushed into speaking to the alumni board, and it was like really nerve-wracking because I wrote that speech literally two hours before I gave it. I wouldn't recommend watching it, but the link is here if you want to watch it. Do what you want. You obviously believed it. So did you become it? You mean myself singing with a band with varsity chorus behind me? No. No, no. <laughs> I wish I could be as awesome as me. Favorite thing about Hannah Clemens? Hannah Clemens is an enigma. Besides that, like, cute little smile that she does all the time, I really like her tweets. Mo money, mo problems. More like mo money, no problems. Am I right, ladies? Like, those ones that end like, am I right, ladies? Just let me, you'll appreciate this one. Abraham Lincoln, more like Abraham Lincoln. Am I right, ladies? <laughs> Okay, no more of this. I've been talking to my camera for like 20 minutes now. It's it's done. I have a concert tomorrow, our big Mexico's big winter jam. Videos will be posted soon and subscribe to Mix Company of Yale on YouTube to like get notified when we post videos. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, dislike, subscribe. Um bye.